So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha SE automatic on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circlet, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's why we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which is 7,273. The trip computer above that uh, can be changed using uh, controls on the indicator stall for various different bits of fuel economy information. And then in the top left-hand section of that uh, central computer area, you can see the P. That is to highlight that this car is currently in park. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls as well. Of course the phone controls can only be used uh, as and when you pair up your phone and that is done using the stereo over in the centre here and the screen above it. Uh, before we come back to the phone you can see this car's got FM radio, it's also got DAB and AM as well, and then back round to the beginning again. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that uh, via the CD player. You can plug in auxiliary and USB devices as well. And as I said up there, uh, you can also pair your phone. All of that is done using these buttons just here. You can see the CD player at the bottom of that unit as well. We then have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the temperature for the passenger side and the driver side. You can adjust the fan speed up, down from here you can determine where within the car you'd like the air to be distributed all of those settings and all those adjustments that I'm making all show up on the main screen uh, there as well as down here of course when you're happy with those settings that button puts the air conditioning on or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed which you can hear it doing in the background you can override that whenever you wish to for those extra cold winter days much like today we got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings, and we have a heated steering wheel as well. Just push that button so it's off or back on again. This button turns off the parking sensors. Underneath there, we've got a 12 volt charging socket underneath this cap, and then underneath this one, the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. Finally, we have the automatic gearbox. The plus and minus button that you see on the top is so that you can change gear manually uh, should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.